Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers, and today we're going to be building a flying boat that drops a submarine out into the water. So imagine like a plane, but instead of being a plane, it's a boat. And imagine it being like a bomber plane, but instead of dropping bombs, it drops a submarine, which you can then continue to pilot underwater. I know it sounds weird, but this is actually an idea that was inspired by some comments I've received that asked me to build something that drops a submarine, which I've done before from a plane to a submarine. But I figured if it's gonna be a water-based vehicle, like a submarine, why not have a water-based air vehicle? <laughs> which is just basically a flying boat, I suppose. So I figured the best way to start off with this is we build the submarine first. Get a submarine that actually works, goes in the water, and then we know how big we need to build a boat around our submarine. Let's get going with the submarine. We're definitely going to need something we haven't used in a while, actually, the diving bell. And oh, we're how do we get so far under the water? Where's this? Where am I? We're going to build at the bottom of the ocean, I guess. It's a submarine, which that's a fine by me. So because the submarine has to be contained within a larger vehicle, I'm going to try to make it relatively simplistic. And the uh, the flying boat is going to be the more complex part of the build. So it's going to be a two parter. Let's get to the submarine first, though. Here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've got something as good as I'm gonna get it without expanding the size of it too much. It is slightly, slightly negatively buoyant, even at like the maximum buoyancy here. But uh, if I want to, I can just have it sink like a rock by uh, deflating the diaphragms there. But it doesn't really matter because I can go up and down pretty much as easily as I want to. I decided to put the pitch in the front. That way, if I'm like against the ground here, there we go. Then it's really easy to just lift up off the ground rather than trying to do pitch from the back where my tail would just be kind of rubbing into the ground. So then I'm doing roll from my tail instead. And this thing is actually like a super easy and maneuverable submarine. It's like really, really easy. Like look at this, we could do backflips and everything. We could do all kinds of fun stuff. All right, it is pretty sizable though. It's not a super small submarine, but uh, it'll get the job done. But we just got to make sure that we can build a boat around this thing and have it also detach and drop out of the uh, of the whatever we're whatever kind of boat we're building. I don't even know what the boat's gonna look like yet. Oh, oh I was hoping I could get up onto the aircraft carrier from there. Maybe if I try it from down here. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, that was perfect. <laughs> no damage either. All right, well, let's save this thing and get on to the next part of the build. So this is where things are gonna get a little bit more interesting because we're gonna have to build around this thing, but also make sure that the only parts that are attached to our sub here are going to be detachable blocks. All right, wish me luck. I'm gonna do my best to build myself some type of flying ship thing that can carry this.
Okay, we've reached a problem. Um, I cannot add a single more block onto this thing, and I am not done. I, I am very much not done with this. <laughs> I haven't put in any of the flying functions at all, and I can't add any more blocks. What do I do? Um, we're... Okay, alright, uh, we're gonna have to simplify a little bit. Oh no, I- this is gonna be really, really difficult. I- I had a- I had a whole bunch more plans for this thing. It's okay, it's okay, um, I'm gonna try to figure it out, and I'll let you know how it goes. Alright guys, I think I've done literally, quite literally, as much as I can possibly do with this thing. I wanted to put a mast on this so bad. But as you can see, our complexity limit is at the maximum that it can possibly be. We are at 700 out of 700 complexity points. And that gave me just enough to add some uh, wing stability, some thrusters, and uh, also an altitude sensor so that we can actually set a designated height for this thing to basically hover at. So I'm going to go ahead and say 200 meters. And I think this thing is actually ready to go with the ability to open up the entire bottom and then drop a submarine out of it. But you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm actually gonna give myself a little bit room with the complexity here, and I'm gonna open up some holes just like this. Because what I wanna be able to do is I wanna be able to be in this seat, but then I wanna be able to get out and then hop into the submarine when I want to. And I know some pirate ships have like, like little ports on the deck and stuff to go down below deck. So I'm just gonna pretend like these are little holes to see below deck from, I don't know. All right, so let me show you how this thing works. When I press the H key, it'll hover up to his designated height. And do I have some, oh, I thought I saw some weird paint thing on the front. But uh, as you can see, it's not the best when it comes to being level, but I was dealing with enough. And as long as it goes up, I'm fine. And then underneath, I have a spinning servo to help me with turning left and right, as you can see. But uh, it'll actually level off once we get up to 200 meters. And here we go. We're at 200 meters now. And you can see that now we're starting to level off a bit. And then when I pr apply some forward thrust, that's actually when it really starts to level off. And by level off, I mean tip forward. But then it levels off after that. <laughs> So everything kind of equals out to the point where it looks like you're just riding some waves. So I think it's, I think it works out great. You know, ships aren't always level on the ocean because the ocean is not always level. All right, so everything so far seems to be actually working pretty well. Uh, now, oh boy, this is actually going to be harder than I thought with how unstable it is. I want to get into the submarine so that when I drop it out, I can be in the submarine. All right, here we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm in the submarine. That worked. <laughs> okay, so now, if I press number one, you will see the whole bottom opens up to reveal the submarine. And now, our maiden voyage. Will the sub? What is happening? Oh, that completely... That completely changed our center of mass, so we are wobbling like crazy. All right, when I press number two here, the submarine should drop and go down into the ocean. Here we go. In three, two, one... Drop! Oh. 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 This is actually s seeming to work. Oh. 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 <laughs> we're, we're, we're like a feather. We're floating. All right. And there we go. Look at this. That totally worked. That worked out really well for the first try, especially. Now, the only problem is we have no way to get retrieved by the actual thing. Wait, where is it, by the way? I want to see. Is it still around? Oh, there it is. There it goes. Off on its own. Up in the sky there, sparking like crazy for whatever reason, but it's still up there, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and respawn. I hope it repairs everything and brings it all back together. Oh, it looks like it did. Okay, so now I'm gonna stay in the submarine this time. We're gonna go up into the air, and then I'm gonna do it in motion. I'm going to be going forwards, and then we're gonna drop our sub, kind of like an, like an actual bomber. All right, I feel like we're actually getting some decent speed here, and it's really level now. It really works well. Well, actually, is that just because we haven't reached... Oh, we haven't reached our max height yet. That's probably why. Yeah, once we reach 200, it'll probably dip nose down. Yep, there we go. Now we're on the ocean. We're doing the waves now. All right, here we go. Open up, drop down. Oh, that was amazing. There goes the boat, and right into the ocean. All right. This is working out awesome. Uh oh, wait a minute. What's happening with our fins there? I think that's a visual glitch, because if you look, I'm going like pretty much straight, 
until I tilt up like that. Even though my front uh, fins are tilted upwards, I think that's not actually the orientation that they're at. That doesn't make any... Oh. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. All right, I just got to try one thing for the fun of it. I'm going to do this over land, like as if we're bombing something on land instead of dropping a sub into the water. Now, it's obviously going to destroy the sub, but I kind of want to see that happen. And are we going to... Are we going to go through a hoop of fire here? This might actually happen. Oh, oh, no, wait, no, no, no. What? What's our height? The hoop of fire is literally right at 200. Oh, I thought I was going right through it. That's disappointing. We were so close. All right, I might be able to go through this next one, actually. If I just, if I turn off my, um, my, my gimbal jets at the right time, I could probably let myself fall right down and go right into this one. Oh, yeah, this is working well so far. I, th I think I could do this. We're going to take a pirate ship through a hoop of fire. Flying pirate ship through a hoop of fire. There we go. And I'm going to aim for that circle for my submarine. And open up. And drop. Oh, 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 oh. We went. We overshot it just a little bit. But hey, that, oh. That, was, that wasn't too bad for a first try. And just kind of thinking of it on the fly. Now, where's our ship? Oh, there it goes. Well, everybody, wave goodbye to Mr. Mastless Pirate Ship because it's just apparently too complex. All right, I got one more challenge for myself. What I'm going to do is uh, fly over these docks here. I want to drop the submarine in between one set of docks and then scoop under and then jump over the next set of docks. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. All right. I, I don't know what's underneath the docks. If there's like pillars that I might crash into or what, but... We're going to see what we can do with this. All right, open up and drop. Oh, 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 this is looking good. This is looking good. And under, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I think this is doable. I'm going to try one more time. No, no. Come down at like a weird, oh, what? All right, I'm feeling this one. This one feels good. This one feels good. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And over. It worked. It totally worked. That's exactly what I wanted to do. All right, that was a victory. Well, I think that's definitely deserving of a like, so hit the like button if you enjoyed that, and let me know what you thought of this idea. If you want to see more crazy ideas, then leave some suggestions down in the comments below, because this was inspired by some comments. If you want to see more awesome Trailmakers content like this, then you're going to want to check out this playlist on the end screen right here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.